ready. Yeah. All right. Your next comedian, give it up for John and Jonah. Yeah. Big news, everybody. I'm 22 and I just got my first STD. <laughs> From an Egyptian girl. <laughs> the mummy's curse. <laughs> Every time I pee, frogs come out of the toilet. <laughs> uh, I just, uh, I, got a, I got a very long neck. I, got, I don't know why. No, no one else in my family looks like this. You know, maybe it's because of my racial, right? Like my dad is Indian, my mom is a giraffe. <laughs> my neck, I have two Adam's apples, and there is no medical explanation for it. <laughs> Is anyone here a doctor? Like, what is this? Right? Ew. Grow like, my eyes are up here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I am missing one testicle. And, uh... Anyway, uh... My dad, my dad is Indian, right? Or at least I thought he was Indian my entire life until last week I was talking to this dude from Sri Lanka. He's like, I'm from Sri Lanka. I said, cool, that's where my dad is from. Because I thought you said you were Indian. I'm like, yeah! <laughs> Did you guys know Sri Lanka is like its own country? <laughs> Every time I talked to my dad, I thought he was just really proud of this one place that he was from. Like, no, I'm not a New Yorker, I'm from Brooklyn! <laughs> Sri Lanka was like the bed style in there. <laughs> yeah, they're, doing, they're doing their own thing over there. I, uh, my dad, he was, a, he was an illegal immigrant. He married my mom for a green card, and it was like this loveless, abusive marriage. Didn't work or support family. <laughs> All right, and uh, yeah, it was a really dark time for us. Anyway, <laughs> that's cool. That's cool. Um, but yeah, like, I hated him growing up. And then Trump came along. He was talking all this bullshit, right? But then he said he was going to get rid of all the illegal immigrants, and I was just like, go on. <laughs> And uh, last election, I was finally old enough to vote, so uh, you guys ever ruined the country for a personal vendetta? <laughs> I did. <laughs> to my knowledge, my dad's still out there, so four more years. Four more years. Everybody now. Four more years. Just the ladies. <laughs> oh, sorry, I thought you guys were cool. <laughs> I, uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> I just went on the six-month study abroad program to Thailand, which was beautiful, it was amazing. Uh, wonderful people, rich culture, but now that I'm back in America, everyone's just like, the only thing anyone asks me, is like, oh, did you have sex with ladyboys? Did you fuck any ladyboys? Did you have sex with ladyboys? Like, that's the only thing anyone knows about Thailand. Like, first of all, yes, all right? Right away, I mean, day one, uh, it, so, like, the only two places I could afford to go were Bangkok and Saudi Arabia. And uh, I don't know if you guys know this, but in Saudi Arabia, music is illegal. And I'm just like, I read that, I'm like, oh my god. It's just like Footloose. <laughs> <laughs> just without uh, Kevin Bacon. Or regular bacon. <laughs> <laughs> or uh, basic human rights, you know. You guys, you guys remember that scene in Footloose where Kevin Bacon moves to that town and he wants to teach everyone how to sing and dance yeah. and then they uh, stone him to death for being gay? <laughs> <laughs> A classic Footloose scene! You guys remember that wacky? Alright, okay, okay. yeah, It's offensive, I shouldn't make jokes about uh, movies I've never seen. I <laughs> right, yeah, I'm a student, you know, as a college student in this day and age, I think the only thing scarier than a school shooting is group projects. <laughs> You're never gonna hear a school shooter be like, oh, I thought you were gonna do it. You know? <laughs> a proactive bunch, those guys are. <laughs> I, uh, I moved around a lot as a kid. I went to three different high schools and two different middle schools, and every time I moved, I made sure to make friends with at least one weird white kid. <laughs> Just in case, to play the out. Because uh, in, in prison, for your safety, you got to make friends with the toughest guy in the yard. Uh, in high school, you got to make friends with the dude with the most wolf shirts. <laughs> the more wolves on the shirt, the greater the threat. Okay? And like, uh, if, if the wolves are howling, it's too late. It's too late. You, you deserve 
tonight. Like, <laughs> like, I'm a young guy, I'm 22. I'm from that generation of kids that got a participation trophy for everything. And I think the reason for that is because we deserve it. <laughs> you know, when your school's getting shot up like every week, a participation trophy, just showing up, is worth the trophy, I think. You know, it's like, yeah, I came in eighth place in the 100 meter dash, but the starter pistol was an assault rifle. <laughs> 